An El Cajon mother says her daughter is being tormented and even had her identity stolen. As 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena found out, there could be some serious consequences for those responsible. Fake Instagram accounts. They took these two pictures and put it on the fake one. Repeated phone calls. They called me over 150 times. And even unwanted visitors. People are showing up at our house looking for my 16-year-old daughter. Amy Hillman says she and her daughter, who's asked us to conceal her face, have been living a nightmare. Just won't stop. Hillman believes everything happening is the work of bullies, targeting her daughter, who worries it might jeopardize her future. It can potentially ruin getting into a college that I've been wanting to get into. Even though they have a good idea of who's responsible, they don't have proof. It just seems like nobody wants to help or they just can't because their hands are tied. Because there's a lack of evidence and no physical harm or threats, the school and law enforcement have said they can't step in. We talked to attorney Brian Watkins about the situation. Annoying, harassing, irritating, upsetting and disturbing, but in the list of crimes, is it the highest priority of the police officers? Unfortunately, it's not. Watkins says many times the law is trying to catch up to technology, but that doesn't mean something can't be done. If someone's using personal identifying information of another, that is a crime that will be prosecuted by the district attorney's office. And again, if there's some harassment going on on the internet, that can subject the culprits to civil restraining orders. In the Hillman situation, the issue comes back to proof, which they say they'll keep looking for and hope the harassment stops. In El Cajon, Lindsay Pena, 10 News. Hillman did reach out to Instagram about taking down the fake account. Watkins says it's also important to monitor your children's internet activity and stay informed about what they may be posting online. Now to a 10 news spot.